Then it's code in the D to give the keyboard a punch. Whoa. Then cross, correlate, and a break for some lunch. Whoa. Correlate, tabulate, process, and screen. Whoa. Program, print out, regress to the mean. And it's oh boys, can't you code it? Whoa. Program it right. Nothing ever happens in the This video is an introduction to a set of videos that describe how to import data into Stata. If you have your data in a Stata file already, then obviously you don't need to know much about these uh, kinds of issues. But if your data reside in some kind of ASCII file and sits on your disk outside of Stata, or if you have a small data set that you're going to enter by hand and then have to input it to Stata, then these videos are for you. You can look down this list of ways that we can import data into Stata, and the ones that we're going to cover are importing Excel spreadsheets, importing delimited files, free format files, and fixed format files. Here's an Excel spreadsheet. Notice that I have six rows of information. The first row has variable names, and then the different columns have data in them. So we have uh, sex, race, age, and education. Stata can easily import spreadsheets in this kind of format that are very simply done. If your data is more complicated, like a lot of the data you can find on the internet, there's a lot more options you can use to bring that data into Stata. One more thing about bringing in spreadsheets, importing spreadsheets into Stata. You can either pre-process the spreadsheet, that is make changes to the spreadsheet to make it easier to input into Stata, or you can learn how to use all the different options in Stata, and you can post-process that spreadsheet. The video that describes how to do this will give you some very simple examples using this spreadsheet, and then more complicated ones using a data set from the FBI's Uniform Crime Report that's actually fairly complicated. Sometimes data come to you that are delimited. And by delimited, I mean that there's some kind of character that separates each variable from the next, each value of a variable from the value of the next variable. The example here shows that I have my values comma delimited. It's a very common format. If you copy data from a spreadsheet, you'll also have um, tab delimited data, and that's fairly typical as well. But don't be surprised if you find data that are delimited with different kinds of characters. For example, if you use data from the Federal Election Commission, sometimes their data are separated with a bar or like a pipe. Here, this particular file, you can see that the data don't line up in columns, but Stata is able to parse out or figure out what's what by knowing that what everything is separated by a comma. Your data could be in a free format as well. These kinds of data can be tab separated or space separated or comma separated. The example here is space separated. If you have strings and if the strings have spaces in them, you should embed them in or surround them with double quotes. You can only have one observation. Um, you can have observations on more than one line or multiple observations per line. And that's something that you'll have to go through the options to instruct Stata how to figure out. Again, this is a fairly easy format to import into Stata. The next format we'll look at is for fixed format data. And we'll use the infix command to bring those data or import them into Stata. When you have fixed format data and you're going to use infix, the data must be in a fixed column format, meaning that, for example, my variable sex always begins in column 1 and ends in column 6. And the second measure, the one that goes 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, which is actually a measure of race, always begins in column 8 and ends in column 8. An observation can be on more than one line, and this particular format is a little bit easier to use than infile, which is our final format that we'll look at. Infile also handles fixed format, but it requires that you create what's called a data dictionary, another file. So the way you use this in Stata is you'll issue the infile command. The infile command will point to a data dictionary. I think of it as a map of where the data are on your hard drive and how they're laid out within that file, and use that map to read in or parse out the data and import it into Stata. This is really the most complicated way to get your data into Stata, but it's also the most powerful. And if you have hierarchical data, for example, you have data on households, and within households you have individuals in the household, so you have multiple records 
for each uh, case, this is going to be the format you're going to want to use because it can handle that kind of complexity. As you go through the videos, you'll see that we use these data sets to show you how to use all these different commands to bring data into Stata. This is not inclusive. There's a lot of other things you can do to bring data into Stata, but these are the most commonly used and these are the basic options to get up and running. If you have any questions, give me a call or send me an email and I'll do my best to answer them. The day to give the keyboard a punch wow. Then crawl, score, lean, and a break for some lunch wow. Call, relate, tabulate, process, and screen wow. Program, print out, regress to the mean And it's old boys, can't you code it? Whoop. Program it right, nothing ever happens in